to the Baby Boomer channel. My name is Carol. I'm your hostess. I am 62 years young and absolutely sensational. You go, girl. I would like to first give a shout out to all my subscribers and to everyone who has liked my videos. Thank you so much. Your support is greatly appreciated. I absolutely love you guys. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. And if you hit the bell after you subscribe, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So let's get started. 10 Things We Baby Boomers Love and Refuse to Give Up I was surfing the web recently and I came across an article which was most likely written by a millennial hating on us for things that we love and that we'll never give up. So the list was long, maybe 40 or 50 items, but I'm just going to highlight the top 13 that I thought was interesting. So first I'm going to tell you what the millennials said about us and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on the items. Dudes, Airbnb is so much better. Really? We baby boomers love hotels. We baby boomers prefer hotels to Airbnbs. We don't want to stay at someone else's home. If we did, we have friends for that and our stay would be free. We like to be pampered and waited on 24-7. And that's why we like hotels. Hotels have bellboys. It's someone to carry your luggage up to your room. Hotels have room service. Somebody to clean up behind you. You get all those cute little bottles of lotions and shampoos. <laughs> hotels also have bars on site because we like to drink sometimes. Hotels often have restaurants that's on site too. You don't have to go far for a good meal. You have housekeeping service. You have turn down service. They will call and wake you up if you need to be woke up the next morning. Hotels have all the amenities that us baby boomers love. Some hotels have swimming pools, indoors, outdoors. Some hotels have gyms, exercise rooms. There is nothing not to like about a great stay at a good four or five star hotel. Yes, indeed, we baby boomers do love hotels and we're not giving them up. Number two, real estate. Actually, us millennials would like to be a part of this, but we just can't afford it. Oh well, us boomers know that real estate is a great investment and we love buying property. We probably own the majority of those Airbnbs that you millennials like to go to. I'm just saying. Number three is cruises. Apparently, you boomers like to be trapped on a ship, visiting countries for only two hours, and eating everything in sight 24-7. We love all-inclusive vacations. Cruises are a good value for the money. You can visit a country for six to ten hours. That's plenty of time to decide if you like it enough to go back for a longer visit. There's nothing wrong with trying something out. Food and drinks are available 24-7, and there's a wide variety. There's something for even the pickiest eater, since most cruise ships have anywhere from 6 to 12 restaurants on board. You can get plenty of exercise on a cruise ship. They have state-of-the-art gyms. They have indoor and outdoor walking tracks. 
the hallways are long enough to go for a jog. You can take the stairs instead of the elevator. So you don't even have to worry about packing on the pounds. Today's cruise ships are as big as a small city and full of amenities. Did I mention that us boomers love amenities? Well, yes, cruise ships have lots of them. There are malls on board. There are photo ops. It's a selfie's dream. And with all the amenities and the fact that it's as big as a small city, there's no need to feel trapped. Half the time, you won't even know that you're on a boat. 85% of millennials have shown an increased interest in cruising. Stereotype that cruises are for older adults is a thing of the past. Cruises are now as diverse as any other form of travel. Yes, us baby boomers love our cruises and we're not giving them up. Number four, Capri pants. They could not be more unflattering. They cut your leg off in the worst possible places. Are they shorts or are they pants? Well, they're neither. They're not shorts and they're not pants. They are a more conservative length of pants or shorts for women that want to be a little more conservative. As you get older, you don't want everything hanging out and you don't want everything showing. And most of us older women don't have to. We already have husbands or boyfriends. We're not on the market. We're not looking for anything. And if we are, older men like a little mystery. Capri pants should come right to the beginning of your calf. That's the desirable length. They're very versatile. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Capri pants are comfortable and they come in a multitude of styles and colors. Yes, we baby boomers like our capri pants. Nothing wrong with that. In our mother's day, they were called pedal pushers. They are absolutely great and we love them. Say what? Number five, meatloaf. You people still eat meatloaf, which looks kind of yucky and tastes kind of bland? Boomers, try some hipster food for a change. You might just like it. So we've tried your hipster food. And yes, a lot of it we love. Sushi is great. Most of it. But we also like tried and true comfort foods. And if you think meatloaf is bland or yucky, Maybe it's because you don't know how to cook it. Maybe you haven't had a good meatloaf. So learn how to cook and maybe you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Mrs. Dash Seasoning. There's a world of spices out there. Yes, it's a good mixture of spices and it's salt free, but it gets mighty monotonous. Seriously, boomers, branch out and try something new. Well, we baby boomers happen to like Mrs. Dash because most of us are on a low sodium, salt-free diet for health reasons, or we're just trying to lead a healthier lifestyle and do away with the salt. Nothing wrong with that. A little less sodium is always a good thing. And we are well aware that there are other spices. We've been using spices for years. Don't forget, our generation actually knows how to cook from scratch with a lot of ingredients, including a variety of spices. That's why you millennials can't wait to come home and get a home-cooked meal that we make with different spices. And you don't mind coming home eating our meatloaf. Number seven, the mall. You can buy anything you want online. Stop going to a place with overcrowded stores, and awful parking situations. We like them all, okay? 
The mall has a wide variety of stores. No matter what you set out to find, you can find it in some store in the mall. We don't think it's overcrowded. We know what times and what days to go to the mall when the crowding situation is less. Everything is in one convenient place. It's free parking. No driving from store to store. Lots of places to sit and rest or to sit and people watch. Clean public bathrooms. Lots of places to eat with free samples. Air conditioning. Yes, the mall is air conditioned. And we can use the mall as an indoor walking track. What's not to like? Yes, we love them all. Number eight, transition lenses. Someone sitting inside with dark lenses is likely a boomer whose transitions hasn't adjusted to being indoors yet. Sure, the lenses are convenient, but they just look so dorky. Well, Millennials, for your information, it's hard enough trying to keep up with one pair of glasses instead of two. And why buy prescription sunglasses when we can get sunglasses and regular glasses all in one for those of us that have to wear glasses? Just remember, glasses are something you all have to look forward to whether they're prescription or whether they're reading glasses. They are in your future, Millennials. And you try to keep up with a pair. You're going to have so many pair of reading glasses, it's going to make your head swim. So the joke's on you. Yes, we like our transition lenses. They're convenient. And we love convenience. Almost as much as we love amenities. Number nine is visors, sun visors. Of course you want to keep the sun off your face and out your eyes. And of course visors do that. But they're so dumb looking. Dumb looking or not, visors get the job done without messing up your hair. And who wants to have hat hair? Not me. Think about it. Visors are okay. And we're not giving them up. Number 10, all you can eat buffets. Why would you want to eat as much as you can from what is likely low quality food that have been sitting out getting cold. Skip the buffet and those nasty sneeze guards. Instead, go to a real restaurant and eat enough for one meal, not 10. Well, we like buffets because we like to have choices. Sometimes you're hungry, but you just don't know what it is that you want. At a buffet, you have a wide variety of selections to choose from. There are multiple beverages, foods, and desserts. You can take your pick. You can eat as much of any one item as you want. You can eat all the items that you want. It's up to you. And most of the time it's cheaper than going to a restaurant. And we do go to real restaurants. We taught you guys how to go to restaurants. So don't knock a good buffet until you've had one. Yes, 
us boomers love buffets and we're not going to give them up. Number 11, fanny packs. The first fanny packs came out in the 1980s and gained real popularity in the 1990s, which is when people should have stopped wearing them. They look so silly on men or women. Fanny packs are a convenient way to carry things you need hands-free. There is nothing wrong with wearing the fanny pack. It's how you wear it now that matters. Instead of wearing it across your stomach or across your hips like you did in the old days, wear it this way across your shoulders, like a crossbody style. That will satisfy the millennials and it will also satisfy us boomers because we like fanny packs because when we're out and about, we like to be hands-free. And that's why we'll never give up fanny packs.